Hi Barracudas, my name is Bonnie Reed and I'm here to get $200,000 of your money for 10% in training your brain, an innovative new application for education. Did you know that 32 million people in the United States do not have a high school education? And 1.2 of those in the state of Georgia do not have a high school education. These people think that they cannot learn the information that's required to pass the GED. We have come up with a unique way to incorporate subconscious learning with adult training um, techniques to help these people learn. These people are your neighbors, your friends, your family, your um, community members and they are all in need of a step up. Every person will benefit from this. They will benefit because their increase in income, which we will show you today, the, they will also earn their self-esteem. Their community will also uh, be proactive in this, will be good for them because they uh, will have an increase in income across the community in taxes, and in consumer spending. So um, in today's presentation, you're going to hear about our company from our executive partners as they reach out uh, and cover each important factor with you. We're going to see the statement of need, the company background, the product differentiation, the marketing analysis, the um, uh, communications, and the financial analysis, and some closing comments. We hope you enjoy our presentation today, and we ask that you please hold your questions until the end of our presentation. First, you're going to hear from Torian Welsh, who is our Chief Technology Officer, and he's going to talk to you about our statement of need. Good evening. Good evening. Uh, <laughs> just offer you um, a background about the GED, uh, the general, development, uh, general Education Development Test. It was originally started um, in 1942 as a means for the military to measure basic skills of their soldiers and sailors. Um, it was adopted to the civilian sector as the Carnegie Hour, or also known as the Student Hour, which was offered as a 120-hour course that, um, that was offered over the course of um, a year. Um, in the state of Georgia alone, um, it, we have a, there's a 67.2% a 60, a graduation rate, which roughly leaves about a 32.66% dropout rate. Um, generally, that covers the age ranges spanning from 1 all the way to, to 59. Now, what, we, what, we've actually discovered, what we've actually discovered through our research is that 18% of those people actually have tried to, tried to get, um, have applied to get their GED last year. That roughly boils out to about 700,000 people. Now, um, the trends that we're actually seeing with um, involve online, uh, the evolution of online learning programs. These programs have made it actually possible for the working professionals to to go to work. I mean, to go to work and still um, pursue whatever uh, what other education endeavors they might have. Um, it's based on, like, like Bonnie said, it's innovative research based on traumatic, a traumatic brain injury patients where cognitive skills have already been learned. And basically what implicit learning is, is, basic, is um, helping you relearn things that you've already learned. So naturally, we all been, we've all been to high school, right? We won't be in college now. So in understanding the fact that we've already learned the information that we've learned, implicit learning allows you to recall that, 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 um, that learning style. Um, the next person I'm going to bring up, she's our Chief Communications Officer and, um, and our Customer Relations person. Her name is uh, uh, Lisa Eason. Good evening. How are y'all today? Right. I'm going to pro provide you a little bit of information about our company background. Um, I'm going to tell you how it all began. We had four graduate students who were trying to figure out how they could actually make a living and also help other people obtain their educational goals. Well, all four of the team members had a serious passion for education, and that showed up, that showed up tremendously in our discussions. When the discussion topic got to how many high school dropouts there were in the United States, we knew where we needed to go. That's where our, our idea was born. 
here for four college graduates. <laughs> um, this is where we got the idea of training your brain. Um, we will use implicit and explicit learning techniques to assist people in ach achieving their GED. Training your brain was born, and then we did our first press release. And it announced the, the um, it announced the creation of our com of our company, making it happen. It didn't take long for the founding partners to achieve their dream. Each one of us came to the company with some very special skills that helped us balance out our company so that it was pretty equal. Spencer, he's our chief operating officer. Torian is our chief technology officer. Bonnie is our chief learning officer. And I'm the chief communication customer relations officer. <coughs> Well, right after we created our company, Bonnie created us a website. Um, and we did our second press release announcing our website. If this works, I'm going to show you a little bit of our website. Training your brain. Um, we have our nice little logo here. And then we go down and we talk about the different aspects of getting your GED, training, um, learning by osmosis. We give some definitions <laughs> of what conscious and subconscious learning is. And then we talk a little bit about our different services that we have, which Bonnie will talk about more later. We talk about the different places that you can find our company at. And then we give you a few stories of people who have achieved their GED. And then when you go to our GED page, we give you even more stories. We actually give you, we also show our, um, some of our advertising that we've got out. And then we also give you some, um, some videos that shows different <coughs> people's stories from their own personal experiences. That one just happens to be me doing graduation at Chattahoochee Tech. <laughs> but you can't tell from there. And then these two young, these, these two gentlemen both received their GED and this, their stories are, are in the, they tell their stories very nicely. And then we also offer ESL, English as a Second Language, and online tutoring. So we show, we show that here. Okay, um, so that's enough about the web page. Back to the PowerPoint. There we go. Okay. Um, what we are all about. At Training Your Brain, our mission is to provide quality educational products that are designed to assist students develop the knowledge and skills that they need to earn a GED or learn English as a second language. We do this student by student, one step at a time. Our, our vision is to be the number one provider of online GED and ESL training in the United States. By doing this, we would be advancing the needs of our clients one student at a time. Our goals well, if we achieve our goals, they will, they will allow us to achieve our mission and our vision. The company values. All of, everyone at Train Your Brain has a passion for education and a passion for helping others. The combination allows us to give back. There are a lot of people out there who are in need of higher education, or at least a GED. Um, with that, I am going to turn it over to Bonnie, our Chief Learning Officer, and she's going to tell you more about our product. Thank you, Lisa. In this section, we're going to go through some of our product differentiators. <clears throat> our features and benefits are unique in our market. Well, I'm going to point out three of these today. The first one is that we do 
one-on-one uh, -on -one tutoring. We offer one hour of one-on-one -on -one tutoring to every student who signs up with us for free of charge. They do not have to pay to get onto the website and they do not have to pay for one hour. After one hour, they pay for, um, it's 50 cents per minute with a minimum of 10 minutes. This is a differentiator for us in our, on our um, market. The next one I want to talk to you about is client-driven learning. Each person gets to make their own decision about how they study, when they study, where they study, what they're doing when they study. They get to work out and listen to it on their earbuds. They can sleep and listen to it on their um, Walkman right beside them or their iPods. Um, whatever you're doing, if you're driving in traffic, you can study. And in our explicit versus implicit learning theory, you get to choose which way you learn. Um, explicit would obviously be you sit down and you're taking some questions and you're answering some um, answering some questions and you're getting immediate feedback from our website. The other piece is push notifications. Um, and push notifications are basically the website is intuitive and knows what you've been studying. So it can go in and send you out random questions during your um, day and you can, when, in, in your own time, answer those questions and uh, know that you've learned the information or you haven't learned the information. And that's important for students to be able to keep in touch. Um, we have a SWOT analysis performed to go along with this um, presentation today. I want to talk to you about one in each section. The strengths are we're passionate about adult learning. If you can't tell that by now, um, we are, and we're specifically passionate about the GED. Um, our weaknesses are that we need a capital in injection now. We are looking forward to getting your $200,000. Under opportunities, we've just been nominated by the, as the best new educational application by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, who has a great push right now for financial literacy training. And uh, to be nominated for this has caused a huge influx into our system, so much that no one else can sign up. So we have to buy new servers, so that's why, uh, one of the reasons why we're looking for our capital injection. Um, and then, obviously, our biggest threat as an online provider uh, is the cyber. We have to be able to prevent cyber crime. We have um, two competitors that we used as benchmarks for this project. Um, train your brain there. Uh, our next closest one is GED Exam Prep 2015. They only offer explicit learning, as does Osmosis Med. Um, Osmosis Med is specifically geared towards medical students. Currently offered in the marketplace, both of these you can download them on the apps just like you can our training in the brain. Um, a couple of differentiators we offer uh, implicit learning, we have the tutoring, which we've already discussed, and the push notifications. Osmosis Med actually does push notifications as well, um, but GED uh, exam prep does not, and neither of them will offer the tutoring to their clients. The next section of is a marketing analysis, and I'd like to introduce to you uh, Spencer, who is our Chief Operations Officer. Thank you, Bill. To go to the marketing analysis quickly with you. Okay, the first part of the segment we looked at was age, and as you can tell, over 95% of students taking the GED are uh, under 50 years old, so that's really our target market, is the 16 through 49 demographic. And we can go after such a large market because the the material really doesn't change for the GED or for anyone, and they kind of feel like they're on pace. So that is good. <coughs> also, next, we look at gender. As you can tell, over time, the genders have become more equal in the taking of the GED over the past few years. So we're going to go after both of them equally. And as with age, there really is no difference in the content for genders. So we can go uh, but <coughs> after both of them equally, and with our problem. Which is income. This is one of the biggest issues, I believe, for us because the average income from someone without a diploma at all is $19,915. And this really constrains kind of the price points we're allowed to charge. It probably makes our consumers a bit more price sensitive. However, we have priced our products at a reasonable rate for this income level. And last but not least, motivation. We found there are three main motivations for someone getting their GED. That would be educational, employment, and personal. Education, either they want to further their education just with a GED or they want to go to vocational school or university. Employment, either they're 
their um, employer is going to require a GED or higher education at some point or they wish to further their employment opportunities or personal. For many taking the GED, it's just a matter of personal pride or it's a matter of wanting to be a role model for someone else. Either way, we know that with our app, you can create, have success with any of these motivations. And the, we know that they're not necessarily exclusive and there's some overlap. There's usually generally one main one for everyone. Next, here's our marketing mix, kind of our four Ps. We're kind of going over the product. Place as well, website, application stores, and big places there. Price, the modules are free. It's $5 for the practice test that will kind of simulate test day conditions and help you get ready for that day. And then the 50 cent per minute one-on-one -on -one tutoring after the first hour. And then our promotions, two of our big promo promotion pushes right now are with radio and TV ads in selected markets like <coughs> GED, where a high number of people take GED. Testimonials on our website, billboards in those same locations, and obviously word of mouth. We want people to talk great about our product and get other people in. And then last, for our web presence and e-commerce, I mean, train your brain is, I mean, we are only web presence and e-commerce. This was a company born in the internet age for the internet. So really our company consists of two parts. Our website and our application create train your brain. And now I'll turn it over once again, for the financial Thank you. Uh, once again, as stated, um, as stated earlier, we are asking for $200,000 for a 10% stake in our company. Now, specifically, numbers don't lie. We started, we started this company back in January of 2015. By March of uh, 2015, we've seen an influx of 75,000 visitors to our site. Uh, out, of, out of that 75,000, we received at least 45% of those people to buy at least one, one of our tests, to purchase at least one of our tests, and to use at least 30 minutes of our tutoring time. We've equated that, we've equated that, that profit to, to um, total revenues adding up to $675,000 um, in, inside of that period. Um, our predictions, as you see here, uh, will continue, we, we are continuing to climb. At, at, in the month of April, we're currently at we're currently at 25,000 hits for um, for our website. Um, by by year's end, we're anticipating we're anticipating ourselves to be at, at about two, two, two million plus dollars. Um, again, we're asking for 200,000 dollars for 10 percent stake, um, and we'll we'll use that for an expansion means. All right. The next person I'm going to bring up is uh, Spencer to speak on our um, appendix. Okay. This will be very quick. I just wanted to highlight one thing. Our promotional pieces, those are the kind of promotional pieces that we will be putting out in technical schools and high schools, other areas where people can kind of get the word out about our app to potential clients. And I'll turn it back over to Bonnie, I mean Lisa, for the conclusion. <laughs> Okay, in conclusion, we want to thank you for your time. Um, we want you to remember that our financial analysis shows that you can recoup your money in as, in as little as three months. Um, it also shows that you would get a very high rate of return for many years to come if you choose to invest in us. For just $200,000, you can assist millions of people in the United States in achieving their educational goals and aiding them in being self-sufficient adults. I know how much this would mean to one of them because I am one of those people. Sometimes you're dealt a difficult hand whenever you live your life. I got my difficult hand when I was born. I was born poor. I, dropped, I ended up dropping out of school in the ninth grade. Went back. Went to work at sewing factory the day I turned 17. And I worked there for the next 15 years. And I, was, I had three children. I was trying to raise them and have the job. I, I figured out then, I thought this was all I could do. Never thought I could do anything more. Until somebody told me that I was smart enough to go get my GED and then go on to college. Well, I listened to that person. And now, I am the Assistant Commissioner of Administration with the Technical College System of Georgia. And I manage a half a billion dollar budget for all of the technical colleges across the state. And I am one semester away from getting my MBA with a 4.0 GPA. That's just an example of what your money can do 
for millions of others out there because I am not alone. If you choose to invest in training your brain, you can be helping people. Thank you. Do you have any questions? Yes. Uh, do you worry that your product is a one-time use for your customers? No, because the way that we have it set up, there are five modules in the GED test. We have um, different levels of tests so that people can come back and take figure out where they need to be before they can actually go take the true test. And we have online tutors who are actually college students who are getting their teaching certificates by working for us, doing this. So that's a free service for us. And so and they will help the people get to the next level that they've got to have. There's pre-tests that you can take to be able to get you to be to pass your GED. And so the different levels of learning will be provided in all of our, our apps. Yes. What other ways have you thought of diversifying the product? Um, currently in under development, we have modules for the English as a Second Language, which we pointed out today. We've also built the um, personal financial um, wellness, financial wellness for individuals. These people um, who are our target market are also interested um, and need to learn how to take care of their money, to be smart with their money. So uh, that has already been developed, but we can't get it on a server yet because our servers are low. The other option that we have available to us is job skills. So we want to teach um, uh, Microsoft, etc., job skills. Thank you. I would like to make an offer. Um, I will give you the 200000 for 10%. Thank you. Anybody else interested in this opportunity? I, I'm interested. I'll give you uh, 200000 for the um, 20%. For 20%. Mm -hmm. uh, our offer, our, our request was for $200,000 for 10%. So thank you, ma'am. We are great, excited to have you on board with us. We look forward to working with you. Sure. And just so you know, we give 10% back in the way, in the means of scholarships to people who are trying to get their GED because that test is pretty expensive. All right.